Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of last month's Ipsy and Top Box and this month's look at the Ipsy and Top Box bag. So I have to start off by saying that I have items missing. I had them and now I don't have them. I have no idea where they went. They were here like two days ago. I had them and I cannot find the product anywhere to actually show you them. So I'll start with what I do have and tell you and I remember what the other items were so I can give you an overview of what I thought of them but I cannot show you the product again because I can't find the product and that's strange because two of them were skincare so I can't see anybody walking off with them so I don't know where they went to <laughs> I will start with the Ipsy bag and I talked about getting a eye brush which was from Inspire Aspire I guess no Inspire and it was a nice fluffy crease brush this does a really good job um, I have used I've cleaned it but I do find it is losing some of its hair out of it or the brush hairs but it's still nice and soft and it worked well for a detailed crease brush I wouldn't use it for a transition shade it would be more of the detail work you want to do in your crease so this was a hit next I talked about the Avena micellar water it is gone um, It works okay, but you have to work like you have to work a bit harder with it. I actually put it some of this on a cotton pad and put some of my Garnier on a cotton pad and did one eye with this and one eye with the Garnier micellar water and the Garnier beat this out. I didn't have to work nearly as hard to get off my eye makeup and I don't wear waterproof eye makeup and this did sting my eyes a bit which the Garnier doesn't but if you're just looking to try my cellar water I guess this would do just as good but you are gonna have to work harder and Garnier is a drugstore brand so I guess it'd be up to you to choose what you wanted to do. The next was <laughs> this mellow lipstick and electro and I wore it one day. Thank God this does not stain your lips because my teeth look like I had a three pack a day habit. They were so yellow with this it's it's orange it's straight up orange it, I don't know anybody who would wear this maybe if you had really dark dark skin you could pull it off but even then only lightly I don't not a fan did not like it the formula is good thank god it didn't stain my lips because that just would have been nasty. <laughs> the next item I talked about was or had was a Smashbox X-rated mascara. I talked about how I didn't like it was full exposure by Smashbox. I said it was clumpy and then it was too dry and it flaked off my lashes. I would pay for a full size of this one of the x-rated this one was really nice gave me nice full lashes and it wasn't too wet too dry nothing it was perfect this one 
was a hit and I would purchase a full size of it. The next item that was in here and is one of the items I cannot find was a little peak lip plumper and it smelled like cinnamon. It didn't taste like cinnamon. It does smell, smell like cinnamon but it didn't plump. It didn't tingle. It's not like the buxom glosses that were you put it on and you can feel the tingle. It plumps. I don't need help with plumping but and I didn't find that it was particularly moisturizing either so if I was given an opportunity to repurchase it the best thing I can say about it is it smells delicious it didn't do what I think they meant for it to do so it wouldn't be on my list of oh yes I'd repurchase so that was a review of the Ipsy bag so all in all it was fairly good the brush is a good quality and the mascara was awesome the Avena worked pretty good the lipstick was definitely a miss and the peak I used it if I could find it again just to add like a touch of shine to my lips or something but nothing spectacular Next in my top box, I'm missing two items that I cannot find and I've just spent like the last hour searching for them. So the two items that I can't find, so I'll discuss them right now, was the Face Shop Collagen Pomegranate Pack, which was supposed to nourish skin and improve elasticity and it was a mask and I can't use it. I used it. I used, the first day I'm like, okay, that's n nothing. Next time I used it, I broke out and I'm still fighting all these breakouts. And I tried not to get too much over here because it was a collagen. And I had had a collagen mask from the Ipsy bag a couple months ago that burned my skin. This didn't burn my skin, but it broke me out. And it broke me out in weird places like here and here and I don't break out there so it's a miss for me um, it didn't do anything for my skin didn't moisturize it it broke it out and the one day I actually had a rash on my cheek and I'm pretty sure it was from that because I hadn't used anything else that would cause that the next thing was a little La Roche Posay um, fluid lotion which was an SPF of 60. I liked it. It didn't break me out. I don't know where it went to and now I'm a little disturbed because I actually liked it and it had an SPF that I could use. Um, it is quite pricey but my sunblock is pricey anyway because I'm so sensitive to the sunblock it I have to pay for price here and make sure I'm not getting any of these synthetic additives that they're adding to it but I would repurchase that and if I could find it I'd re I would use up what I had but I can't find it I keep looking behind me thinking it's got to be over here somewhere, but it's gone. <laughs> the next thing in there was, and I had already told you, I had tried this. I had gotten it in Ipsy Bag, and it's okay. And that was the Novanax Extra Deep Hair Care Cream. This is okay. It leaves my hair soft but you have to order it online. I can get my L'Oreal Deep Conditioner at Shoppers, at Walmart, at Rexall. I can get it like, anywhere. And this I have to order online and they're about the same price. I don't think it's a bad product if you would like to try, try it. But to order it online just... It doesn't make sense to me. 
I'm not dissing on this product. It's a good product. My hair feels soft. It feels manageable. Curls are good after I use it. It's just not something I'd be searching for. And the last item in the top box was the Benefit Cosmetics Roller Lash Mascara. Love it. Love it. Love it. Would buy it in the full size. So that's two high priced mascaras I would buy in the full size. Just so you know. This works really well and I think even that the full size version would be even better because I find that because this is a deluxe size this handle is a bit harder to use but this works wonderful. It curled, it separates, it lengthens, does everything it says it's going to do. Awesome mascara. Now let's get into this month's Ipsy and top box. So I said in my description box of the top box and Ipsy review last month that the top box can be different from month to month. So you'll get a different version this month of what the top box can be. But I'll start with the Ipsy bag and I have to agree I watched Kim's video on this and I love this bag it is so colorful so cute it's I don't know what it is about it but it's beautiful and this year this month is tagism said says ipsy says you're it so in here and Kim had, I think, the same things I do. So, in here there is a Rodale Stem Cell Cleansing Cream. Which is a 2-in-1 cleanser and mask for dehydrated skin with stem cell, rosehip, and vitamin E. I will try this. I'm hoping it doesn't break me out because it is for moisturizing and I have oily, dry in some areas, oily in others, and I don't know if this will actually break me out or not. The next thing I have is a Peter Lamas Youth Revival 5 Oil Hair Treatment Mask for dry damaged hair with all-in-one vitamin hair complex. I'm interested to try this. I think it'll work wonders on the ends of my hair uh, because I do color treat my hair and I do tend to flat iron it quite a bit. I think this will actually help with it or I'm hoping it'll help with it but we'll find out next month. Next in here was a be a bombshell. Somebody always calls when you're taping. Next is a be a bombshell lip paint, or I think it's a lip gloss. And I have had the be a bombshell bronzer and I loved it. I had looked at it and went, oh my god, I'm not going to be able to wear it. It has shimmer in it. But it was nice and I still use it. I have it in my bronzer drawer. Then we have two things that I'm quite excited about. One is an Urban Decay lounge eyeshadow which I will pop this in with my makeup geek ones this is very nice and I know that people are comparing it to something else I don't have a shade that's like this so I'm interested to try this and I will give a review I am very much a makeup geek eyeshadow lover but I do have a few of the Urban Decay so it'll be interesting to know if 
I can be transformed to an Urban Decay eyeshadow lover. The next thing I have here is a ColourPop eye pencil. Kim, none of these are color coded. None of them. I've had lip colors that are nude and they come and they're like a bright purple on the end. I don't know how they color code these. I have no idea. I do have this pencil already though so I'm going to keep it and give it to somebody else that could use it. I have this exact color and I love it. So there's your first review from this Ipsy bag. I love the ColourPop eyeliners. I don't think I found anything from ColourPop I don't like to tell you the truth. And let's see if I can keep all of this Ipsy bag together this time. So as I was saying, with Top Box, I can get a different box. So you can get the regular box like this, or you get an email and you can choose one of like four or five different options. So this one, I actually did choose to get a different option. And this is one of the priv bags. So instead of getting four deluxe size options, I get two full size and they're of the same company. So I chose to get this, which is the model co box and in it it has a bb plus daily cream all-in-one skin perfector broad spectrum spf 30 and it retails for 22 dollars and this is from model co and this is the full size of it so you choose it and then they send you whichever color you wanted. So I can tell you already I have like swatched this on my face. It has SPF. I was worried about that. Like I said. But I put it on my face. I did not break out where this was put. And it does have a really nice color. I will say this though. This is the light. I'm more light to medium. So I think that I don't know if there is a fair or not, but if you're pale, you shouldn't go with the light, but go with the fair if you can get it, because it's quite, it matches my skin tone and I'm light to medium. Point taken. The next thing that was in here was a Shine Ultra Lip Gloss, which is a Lux Touch to your beauty look with this reflective shimmering gloss that glides on smoothly for a non-sticky long-lasting finish and this is twenty dollars so the BB cream is twenty two dollars this is twenty dollars it has a mirror on it which is kinda nice I have not used this yet to know if it's sticky it most lip gloss feels sticky on my hand, so I can't even base it on that. But it's just a nice sheer color, and you can see swatch underneath from another video I've just finished recording. But all in all, I paid $12 for this box. And both these items are $42 combined. So I think this is worth it, as long as the products work and from what I can tell this is going to be perfect like I said I haven't used it all over my face but I did swatch it on my face to see if I was going to break out and I did not break out did not get a rash or anything so join me next month when I do a review of these and my future 
top box and Ipsy unbagging. And I am looking into, because I just found out, BoxyCharm is now available in Canada. Um, so I will be trying to order this, but right now I have to tell you that Canada Post is looking at going on strike as of July 2nd, so I don't know when I will be getting my Ipsy Top Box Birch bo or Boxy Charm at all because Canada Post doesn't think they get enough money. So, so I hope you like this video. If you haven't already, please subscribe below, click thumbs up, and have a great, beautiful day. Bye.